I'm going to break it. JoJo's Science Show! Hello, welcome to JoJo's Science Show. Today, I have an excellent experiment for you that's surely going to impress you. I wanted to show you something unexpected about eggs. So, let's get right into the yolk of this. For this experiment, you're going to need some adult help. Ask an adult to hard boil one egg for you and keep the other one raw. Now, they both look alike. But how can you tell them apart? If I want to eat raw eggs, I could end up eating hard boiled eggs. Or if I want hard boiled eggs, I could end up eating raw. That's quite a dilemma. How can we tell them apart? Jojo, use the first. Stop it, Sir Isaac. Jojo, I'm trying to think. Use the first. Stop distracting me. I'm trying Jojo, to think. Use I said the stop. First. What do you mean use the first? Oh, wait a minute. You mean use your first law of motion. Okay, so we can actually tell these eggs apart by Newton's first law of motion. An object at rest tends to stay at rest, but an object in motion tends to stay at motion unless something acts on it. So, how can we use this to tell our nice little eggs apart? Well, it's pretty simple. We just spin them. So, once you have your boiled egg, then let's lay these both on a flat and wide surface. First, let's spin the boiled egg. And if we stop it and let go of it, it still stops. But, if we spin the raw egg, stop it, it starts spinning again even though I didn't spin it at all. Look! So how does this work? When we spin the eggs, the liquid in the uncooked egg still moves after you stop the shell. In the hard boiled egg, the inside is solid and the inside just stops when we stop the shell. So the raw egg continues to spin because the liquid inside also continues to spin. Well, the cooked egg stops almost immediately. See, Jojo? It was that easy. Okay, Isaac Newton. Now, can you please go away and stop interrupting my sign show? Now, here's proof that this one is the raw and this one is the hard boiled. So, as you can see, this one keeps its momentum spinning. Well, this one doesn't keep any. And now to prove that this one is raw, I'm going to break it. Uh. This is proof that this one is raw. And this is the hard boiled egg. Here. See? Ah. And uh, it's kind of squishy. So you see, this experiment works. This is a good way to tell raw eggs from hard boiled eggs. Now for some bonus science. Donut science. Hey, I said do oh, 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 come on. Now you have me doing it. I said bonus science, not donut science. I love bonus science. Why do eggs turn solid when they're cooked? Well, I'm going to explain it to you. Did you get that yolk? This is because egg whites and egg yolks contain protein. Protein is made up of long chains of amino acids. And they have weak bonds that keep them folded in a certain way. When they are folded in that way, it is liquid. But when you supply heat, these chains vibrate and these weak bonds break. And the egg forms different cross-link bonds. Did you get all that? The new bonds make a mess to untangle and it forms this rubbery solid. This is called denaturing the protein. This is kind of similar to what happens when you make slime. Cross-linking makes the long chains of the glue turn into a rubbery solid. Now for some stinky science. Are you curious to know why hard-boiled eggs sometimes smell bad? Allow me to explain this. Yes, that's right. More egg puns. It's because the protein in eggs contains sulfur. 
and sulfur containing compounds tend to smell bad. In fact, skunk spray smells bad because it contains a lot of sulfur compounds. So if you smell something bad, think sulfur. And if you smell something fishy, think nitrogen. Do you ever wonder why some hard-boiled eggs have a gray coloring around the yolk? That's because some of the sulfur from the white combined with the iron from the yolk to create iron sulfide, which is that gray color you see. Boiling the egg too much can cause some of the sulfur to be released as hydrogen sulfide. You may notice some iron sulfide as greenish gray color on the yolk. So don't overboil your eggs and you won't have grays in your yellows. An egg that are rotten, well, a lot more hydrogen sulfide can be released. And the eggs stink a lot. Thanks for watching JoJo Science Show. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe to my channel so you can become a kid scientist too. And ring the bell so you'll receive notifications whenever I post a new fun video. And remember kids, science is fun. Hey, I said don't. I said. <laughs> this is because the egg whites and the egg that's really fun to play with. Don't overboil your eggs and grays won't replace your yellows. <laughs>